Okay, my plan for this episode is I'm going to improve my armor and weapons a little bit, and then uh, do the mission where Sturgis wants me to build up this settlement. Hey, do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. What happened to you guys? Long story short, we've been on the move since the attack on Quincy. There used to be more of us. My son, he's... He's gone. That's awful. No parent should have to lose their child. No. No, they shouldn't. I just keep thinking, maybe I could have done more. Anyway, thanks again. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that icebox. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. I'll see if I can find some. My hero. <laughs> Don't take offense to Marcy. She's working through the loss in her own way. I'd be glad to help. Just. Tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Uh-huh. There's a workbench over there you can use. I used all my adhesive on the gun, so that's why I can't do anything better with armor right now. Now, one thing I definitely need to do is tag all the rare stuff. So to do that, you go into your inventory, to junk, to component view, to see here. And then what I've typically done is tag almost everything, well, I guess not everything. Certain items I need a lot of. Okay, so I think I've done everything I can with my weapons and armor, so now I'm just going to run around scrapping things so I have raw material to make the stuff Sturgis wants.
in my previous playthrough I scrapped this uh, trash can, but I suspect it may replenish with grenades periodically, so I'm going to leave it intact see if it does. Okay, I think I've now scrapped just about everything here. I'm sure I missed things here and there, like this fence. Um, so now I'm going to shift to actually building the furniture that Sturges wants. Why is... oh, she wants jet. I guess I'll give her the jet that I have. Speak up. Ma'am. The site's no good without the chems. You have that jet? Here. One hit of jet. You did good. Now, let me ride the hide where the site wants to take me. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know, but people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's going to lead you to your boy. Oh, it's, it's bright. So bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's, that's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart. Phew. Wow. Please, just... I need to be alone right now. And the scrapping has paid off because I still I have plenty of this material now. Point five units of food short. Well, I guess I'm gonna go down to Red Rocket and see if I happen to have any more food items there. Actually, you know, there's a settlement just over there that has food. Maybe I'll go check that out. But I'll check, yeah, I'll check Red Rocket first. And then go over to, I think maybe that's Abernathy. In the distance. Okay, so nothing here. Let's, uh. No, I know there's some bugs in this direction. In fact, I see one now.
While I was editing this, I decided to grab screenshots uh, for each of the moments where I took a shot here. And I thought it was interesting to look at where the crosshair was in comparison to what the game thought was a hit or not. Clearly, the bullet doesn't go where the crosshair points, and I'm not sure if that's a bug in the game or a deliberate inaccuracy in the weapon. things are surprisingly difficult to land a shot on. Dodging back and forth so erratically. And this thing is a little bit bugged. One of these will disappear as soon as I grab it. I think it's the middle one. I think if you if you grab them in a different order, the middle one will drop down into the soup. I'm not sure if there's more bugs over here. Maybe over there. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned. We're armed here. So don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Farming's hard work. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy. Been ages... I'm... Yeah. You could say that. Good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about work in the land? I'm sure I'll give it a try someday. Well, good luck to you then. Maybe I'll see you at the diamonds. Word of advice, though. If you uh -huh. Why do all the hard work when you can just... Uh-huh. Sounds like bad news to me. You really are new to these parts. Best armed... Ba right. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter... May now she's buried out back of the house. Uh-huh. That's why we need the Minutemen back. There's nothing worse than losing a child. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, if you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Don't worry. I'll get that locket back for you. Good. Connie feels like it's a part of Mary. I don't... So that should be enough uh, vegetables to finish off what Sturgis wants. Uh, this is Connie, I guess. <laughs> One of these things on it.
right. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. Windows, too. All right, well, that was pretty tedious going around scrapping things. Okay, well, having just done all those chores, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this episode here.